Hey everybody, what's up? It's Luke Mick once again, and this is another Blu-ray Buys. So you guys, today on Blu-ray Buys, I have a couple of things to show you. I got something from Goodwill, which isn't even a Blu-ray. I got some things from Best Buy at the Mall of America, because that Best Buy actually has a great Blu-ray selection, and I have a couple of things from Pond America. So let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to show you guys is that VHS tape I got from Goodwill. I bought this a couple months ago. I just thought it looked really funny. It's called Golf Goofs. It's like a golf fuck-up video. And uh, it has, like, Clint Eastwood on there. Huey Lewis is in this video. I haven't watched it yet. But, I mean, look at that picture. That's just, like, the funniest picture. I feel like this is going to be a really good time to watch. And, uh, yeah, it was, like, I think a, a 10 cents. It cost me 10 cents. All right, next thing I got here is uh, this movie came out a couple months ago. I saw it in theaters. I loved this movie. And when it was coming out on Blu-ray, I didn't really realize it. Like, I kind of heard it was coming out, but not really. And then, like, two days before it came out, I was like, oh, man, that is coming out this week. So I was like, you know what? I'll probably buy it the day it comes out. And I did, and that was The Raid 2. Now, something that really irritated me was I work at Target now, and Target didn't carry this movie on Blu-ray. And I was like, what the hell? Come on. I mean, Target, you really got to get your shit together. They don't carry anything. Whenever Target gets a movie in on Blu-ray, it's just like the biggest movie of the entire week. And that's it. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was the one last week. Like, they just don't get any good movies in on Blu-ray at Target. But I watched The Raid 2 again on Blu-ray. Incredible movie, great action film. If you guys like action, definitely check that one out. And the first one, too, The Raid Redemption. Next up here, this movie I did buy at Target, and it's kind of like a big budget blockbuster movie. And this movie was a complete impulsive buy. I saw it in theaters earlier this year, in April, I believe. And the, the, the edition they sell at Target is kind of like a collector's edition, and it's, it's in a slipcover. And it's kind of cool, I'll be honest. And uh, the movie I liked, I didn't think it was great, but I did enjoy it. And I was like, you know what, it'll probably have good Blu-ray, and that's Noah. Um, if you guys don't know, it has, like, the wood print, um, like, slipcover, and actually kind of feels like wood. Maybe you guys can hear that. It has a weird, uh, a texture to it, and, uh, I haven't watched the movie yet on Blu-ray. I don't know when I'll get around to doing that, but I paid, like, 18 bucks for this or something. I just really randomly bought it. I don't know why. But, yeah, it just kind of happened. I, I don't really regret it, but, I mean, you know. All right, now, these are the four movies I picked up at the Mall of America, and I was so excited to see that the Mall of America, or the Best Buy at the Mall of America, had a great selection in Blu-rays. That was a voice crack. That doesn't happen a lot. First thing I'm going to show you guys is The Good, The Bad, The Weird. I've watched this movie twice in the last two months or so. Really awesome, like, Asian Western. Uh, it's directed by the same guy who directed I Saw the Devil in The Last Stand. It's got a great cast, a lot of cool characters, and it's just a really, really fun movie to watch. I got it for 10 bucks at Best Buy. Really happy to see that they were actually carrying that movie. Another thing I got here, which is pretty common, it was on sale for 8 bucks, is Don John. Didn't love this movie, but I kind of been and I've been kind of craving that Joseph Gordon-Levitt feel, and he directed, wrote, and edited, and starred in this movie, so if you want Joseph Gordon-Levitt, this is the movie you're going to watch. I feel like it had some really weird twists at the end, and I didn't really like that, but other than that, it was a pretty enjoyable movie. This is one of my favorite movies of last year, Inside Lewin Davis. I got this one for 10 bucks. It's usually 25 Really pumped up to see that this was on sale for $9.99. Really like the Coen Brothers. This is one of their really good movies. Well, most of them are actually really good. And, uh, yeah, definitely check this one out. It's pretty new. And this is my favorite movie so far of the entire year, 2014. It came out, um, and no one sold it. Target had the freaking DVD, but not the Blu-ray. Best Buy wasn't carrying the Blu-ray, but the Mall of America Best Buy actually was. And that's Enemy with Jake Gyllenhaal. This movie's amazing. It's my favorite of the entire year. It's a psychological thriller. It really makes you think. There's a lot of twists and turns in this movie. You really have to watch it on your toes because there's so much happening and it's really confusing and it's it's just awesome. So Enemy for this was 15 bucks. So there's, those are the movies I got pretty much over the entire summer, you could say. Not a whole lot. I got a lot of stuff in my Half Price Bargains at Half Price Books, so watch that most recent one if you guys want. I have a lot of cool things in that video, Blu-rays, CDs, vinyl, video games, you name it. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I will talk to you later. Luke Mick, signing off. Have a wonderful night, and I love you all.